What's up, everybody? This is Nadir, one third of the High Wire Act that is Games Music Life. I'm back with a review today for this Odyssey album titled Iceberg. Um, Odyssey is a is a DC rapper that I'll be honest with you, I didn't really know much about him. I actually listened to his 2015 pro project that was titled Good Fight. I thought it was pretty dope. But it kind of like was kind of under the radar. I forget who uh, who actually hit me to it or someone actually told me about it. But I gave it a shot and I love the project. So fast forward to 2017. I didn't even know the project was actually even coming out. I mean, shout out to Tyrus Maxwell, who actually was in our comments and told us about it, that it that the project even dropped. It wasn't in my Google Play new releases or anything. So. You know, going back to 2015, I definitely was excited to hear what he had to say. I just remember he could rap. I just remember, didn't remember much about him. I just knew that the guy was a lyricist. So I definitely was looking forward to it. So, um, you know, Odyssey is actually, he's a, he's a rapper and producer from Washington, D.C. Um, I really know much about him, like I said. But, um, you know, so definitely I was looking at, looking as far as this project. Didn't know what to expect going in. But um, I just knew that he actually could rap. So let's get into it, man. So track one, dig, Digging Deep. I mean, it's an intro to the album. I mean, the horns on this one is definitely, you know, just infectious. I mean, it pulls you, definitely pulls you in. It's, com it's accompanied by some finger snapping, you know, and, and definitely the Odyssey comes in with his rapping, you know, kind of ushers in a track like that. Uh, the bass loop with the guitar actually starts up when he starts rapping, which definitely um, kind of adds a very good cadence to the album. I mean, to that song, I should say. Um, you know, the track just makes you get up and move, man. An excellent, just a, definitely an excellent way to start the, uh, start the project. Uh, track two, titled Things. Has a, it's an upbeat track, you know, definitely has a head nodding loop. Odyssey goes with an upbeat flow on this one, touching on the things as he may go through in life. Uh, the verses are very short, which I thought I thought actually fit the album, fit the uh, the track very well um, to go with the upbeat, you know, way that the, 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 um, the track was going. So I thought that was very dope. Um, track three, Built, Built by Pictures. I mean, this one is a very funky track. The horns stand out, you know, to on this one so much, man. Odyssey speaks on his upbringing and reflects on his life. Probably looking at, you know, a book of pictures and actually just rhyming what he sees in the pictures um, is what it kind of stood out to me, what he probably was doing on this track. But um, I thought it was very dope. Um, track four, Hold It Back. And this one had kind of a dreamy vibe to it. You know, Odyssey kind of speaks on the subject he has been um, kind of biting his tongue about, you know, from, from meeting... Um, idols and then you know seeing how fake they were to you know how men are treated better than women you know I felt the subject matter was very dope on this one definitely is one that everyone should definitely give a listen to um, and this one kind of shines on him as far as him being a being a lyricist man definitely his wordplay is just one it's just top-notch you know all right man so it goes to track four you grew up now this track was very deep to me um, the first thing that jumps out to you is, is just how slow the beginning of it is and with these infectious drums But then but then the, the, the actual bars come in and they are so clear over the beat um, The track speaks on different races and how growing up and how you know the world um, And people you know before them actually affect them, you know um, I don't give away too much on what you know went on on the track But just know when you listen to it. This isn't everything that he's saying It's definitely one that you'll be at the edge of your seat listening to um, I felt like I wanted more from this track. I wanted it actually to be longer, but it was actually very dope I thought I thought that it was um, the wordplay everything that went along with it was something people should hear, you know all right, so uh next track um, in in GE which actually is never getting enough uh, featuring tone um, the track was very, you know, had a very party vibe. It, it definitely had a go-go sound. Probably his DC roots stood out on this one. Um, you know, the featured artist definitely gives a, de a decent offering. Odyssey goes with a relaxed, smooth flow that fits the track, you know, very well. Uh, definitely an ode to his DC hometown on this one. I thought that was very dope. Okay, so um, let's see. Next track, Like Really. Um, this one had a slow down. It was a slow down vibe with a very smooth cadence. The bars are once again... You know, there Odyssey produce, you know, proceeds. I'm sorry to go through random thoughts as asking questions to the listener. You know, so I think it was a very, um, very good track. Keeps you engaged, kind of like he's asking questions, but also giving his answers to it as well. Very dope track. Uh, next track, Want to Be. Um, now, this one is, has an upbeat vibe. You know, m once again, it makes you want to get up and diddy bop, man. You know, a feel good track, I would say. I had written down for this one. Um, and basically, it talks about how he wants to be happy and, you know, wants to live free. You know, definitely is a good message on this one. Um, next track leads into This Girl I Know. Now, this one was another one that I felt like the wordplay was just, it kept you engaged and def definitely very dope. Um, the beat doesn't, you know, doesn't let you down once again. Very funky. The bars are once again top notch as he speaks on a girl and how, he, how she is affecting him and how she's kind of curving him in a way. But because she's curving him, it keeps him intrigued. 
Um, the chase of a man and a woman is what kind of stood out to this one, you know, and how he doesn't, you know, know exactly where the relationship stands or if it is a relationship. But um, that's what actually that not knowing is what keeps him engaged. So ladies definitely take notes of that one. So definitely another dope track. Um, the next track leads into Waiting Outside. Now, this track had, you know, a slow down vibe once again, as Ozzy seems to be speaking to someone, but then you actually realize he's talking to himself. It com becomes clear, you know, within the song that he's actually talking to himself and uh, his self talks back. So it kind of surprised himself. Um, you know, just a very dope track, man. The track ends up with the chorus and the beats kind of riding out, had a very nice end. So it kind of gives you a, a reflection moment almost to kind of wonder what he was actually saying. But um, I definitely thought that one was good as well. Uh, next track leads into Rain Dance. Um, once again, man, it's another infectious beat. The horns are like hooks and it pulls you in and um, definitely just keeps you engaged on the track. You know, a very funky vibe once again. Odyssey speaks on how um, he's not as appreciated as he thinks he should be, but finds a, uh, definitely finds a silver lining within that as well. Uh, once again, a very personal track. I can always appreciate when artists get personal. They actually can let us into their world, so to speak. And um, I'm, all, I'm always a fan of that. All right. So the, the um, project ends with a track called Rights and Wrongs uh, featuring Oliver St. Lou, St. Louis. I'm sorry. Um, this one has a very old school vibe. The feature has an old school vibe as well. Like the artist kind of has an old school vibe as well. Um, you know, honestly, uh, Odyssey, I'm sorry, takes uh, a backseat to the feature and the beat on this. one. It only gives one verse and which would actually fits well. I'm OK with that because it just gives you just basically like a party vibe to end the album and to uh, just kind of reflect on the whole project, because that's kind of how the whole project was, was just, you know, bars with great production and kind of just went from there. So. You know, all in all, I mean, I thought it was a very solid project. Odyssey is one of the best artists you probably never hear about. Um, he doesn't have the mainstream success as some of the biggest artists. Um, and him being independent, you know, probably is to blame for that. You know, he doesn't have, you know, that label push. Um, you know, he lets us in on very personal tracks about race to politics to sexism. Um, in a day of in day and age where we don't have mumble rap. And, you know, this is definitely a, a breath of fresh air and gives another example that there are good MCs out there. Um, he could flat out rap, man. And, um, you know, definitely keeps the listener engaged throughout. I found, you know, the content to be very layered and, you know, definitely appreciated that. You know, I definitely can appreciate just giving me something to think about and just not just something to make my head nod. You know, which he did make my head nod, but he also had kept me engaged with his words. Um, you know, the production was very polished and I didn't, you know, have one point in the album where I wanted it to end, which I thought was a very good thing. Because a lot of times we listen to so much music that. You know, you kind of find yourself like wanting it to just be over, you know, but this one, it definitely left me a hunger for more. I wanted to hear more of um, this project and definitely some stuff, you know, going forward. Um, so I thought it was a very, very po um, polished album. And I just wish that, you know, more people would hear about it. Hopefully you'll see this review and, um, you know, give your two cents on it. I rated it as an 82. Um, I do think that there were some some points where he could have gotten a little bit more personable on some of the, some of the songs, but I do appreciate that he let us in. So I do think this was a very solid project. But um, you know, as always, man, put it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Did you give it a listen? Did you, did you rate it too high? Did I rate it too high? And um, let me know what you guys think. But you know, this is Nadir, one third of the super group that is Games Music Life. Drink more water, people. Peace rocking with us today if you like what you're seeing please subscribe to our channel and check us out in the future you can hit the red subscribe button near to the right as always our um, podcast is actually can be downloaded on google play music itunes stitcher radio any podcast app that you want to use our social media information is down below if you want to hit us up we have our um, instagram twitter and google plus we answer to all of them we like to engage with everybody so definitely feel free to hit us up but always you know give us a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down let us know what you think and uh, thanks for rocking with us today drink more water people peace